I'm Jason Seitz, Managing Director of Techstars Cloud, and Techstars Cloud is a cloud-focused accelerator program. It's 13 weeks long. We take, we're taking 11 companies and, and giving them funding and mentorship and putting them through uh, this kind of boot camp process uh, to get them as far as we possibly can in, in three months. And where are you now in the Techstars Cloud process? The process, we have our companies selected and locked, and they're all making plans to move to San Antonio for the duration of the program. The program starts January 9th, and we'll have a, a demo day event in April, and, and uh, we're just ready to rock and roll. Now, can you say anything about who the companies are or how many people applied for the program and how they were selected? Uh, sure. So we had, we had hundreds of applications, and, and, the, and the process of, just, of distilling that down to, the, to the, uh, the set that we took, which is 11 companies, was a, a lengthy process, uh, and, and there were a couple of different stages. Uh, at one point along the way, we got down to kind of our, our, our final 25, or our top 25, and those were the ones we really spent time digging a little bit deeper on and trying to figure out exactly which ones we were going to, going to pick. Uh, and and uh, we, we don't publicly say the names of the companies uh, during the course of the program just to give them uh, a little bit of uh, coverage for them to rethink their, their product strategy and, and a lot of times even change their company name. That happens plenty. Uh, and and the, the, the kind of big unveiling of companies will happen at Demo Day, uh, at least publicly. Now, what stages are these companies are at? Are they startups? Are they some of established companies? Can you say anything about? They're all different. I mean, so there's a little bit of a spectrum, uh, and the spectrum on the, on the earliest stage, there we have some founders where us accepting them into the program and giving them their initial funding was their catalyst that allowed them to kind of quit their day job and start working on this full time. So we have, I guess, the earliest, earliest stage. We also have a couple of companies that, that are funded already or in the process of, of closing their first round of funding uh, at around a million dollar uh, range. So, so that's probably the spread. Um, the, we have more that are, that are early stage versus, versus that kind of uh, already raised money stage, but, but there's, there's definitely a spread there. So. And when they go to demo day and they present, is the goal for them to raise capital and, and fully launch their companies at that point? You know, the, I'll tell you the dirty secret, <laughs> little secret, I guess, of Demo Day. This is, this is my philosophy, at least. I mean, Demo Day is nice. It's a nice forcing function event. But in reality, it's, it's kind of a PR event. It's a marketing event. It's, nice, it's, it's the kind of the big unveiling of the companies. And, and certainly, it's a nice time to kind of get in, uh, investors excited. But the reality uh, of that event and the dynamics of the event is actually not a good time for an investor and a company to meet each other for the first time. It's just there's too, there's too much noise, there's too many things. By noise, I mean too much background activity. There are too many different things going on that day. It's not typically a, first, a good first meeting day, although it will be that for some. So I think really our goal along the course of the program is to connect these companies with, with with uh, investors during the course of the program because it's all about relationships, right? So the, a lot of them are going to end up closing funding either before the program, right at, at the at the end of the program, or even a month or two or six months after the program. But but with with investors that they've been building relationships along the way, mm -hmm. so we don't expect someone to show up to demo day with a checkbook to kind of see something they like and, and invest in it that day. That's just not that's kind of a fictionalized version of how a pitch event would go so and in addition to the companies moving here isn't uh, aren't there some people from tech stars and boulder moving here that's right nicole glaros uh, who is who has my role for the boulder tech stars program is is relocating here with her family for three months just to help me run it since it's my first time doing this it's our first time doing this in texas and and uh, she's just here to kind of make sure we don't screw it up so